So this is a video about installing uh, EDM JDM style clock in your American mid 90s to 2000 Civic. If you're watching this, you probably already know that the American one has a stereo that comes out flush to this curved part of this bezel. And then there's some funny useless pocket that comes out at the same level that goes where this clock is. But in the European and Japanese markets, there's a standard DIN size slot that aligns a little further back. Or standard DIN size stereo fits flush at this level. And there's a clock that goes in the hole that's there when you take out the pocket. I hooked this up with a gel cell battery that I got out of a battery backup just to make sure this thing works all right and to figure out everything here. I recommend getting one that has a pigtail so you can just plug the pigtail in and connect your wires up wherever. There's four wires. There's the ground. There's the always on for the battery to keep the time. I have this switch connected to the yellow wire. That's your key on signal that turns on the display. I have this switch connected up to this red and black wire. That's your headlight signal to dim the display for nighttime. So just to demonstrate that I turn off the switch that's like turn off the headlights. Turn this off that's like turn the car off. But with the other connection to the blue and white wire it's able to keep the time. So you can see. As for the screws, they are easy to come by. They're the same as these screws which are also the same as the screws that keep this thing in place, the bezel. You can scavenge those and get some other ones from a junkyard or, you know, swallow the few dollars a piece at the dealer. I didn't want to risk cutting into my factory harness because it's nearly irreplaceable. So I went to Walmart and I got this installation adapter and this plug or jack will plug into the factory harness. Then I got the wires here and I cut the end off a uh, factory harness at a junkyard that lets you pick parts. This one is an original Civic one. This one is from the same era in Tegra. It's the same chassis, they use the same connector. There's one wire difference. This in the top row you can see that yellow green is populated on the Integra connector on the left here. And on the Civic, the red silver wire is populated down here. That's actually a dimming signal for the dash light dimming, which I believe isn't pop isn't a signal on the Acura, and I think the yellow green here is the power antenna signal for running the power antenna when you turn on the steer on the Acura, but that doesn't apply to the Civic DX. You can see there's an Acura stereo. Basically, I could plug in either of these, so just take whichever one fits better. It looks like I'm probably going to go with this one because the wires naturally go off to the right where the clock is. <clears throat> this is a good thing about bench testing. I figured out that I didn't cut enough off of that harness from the junkyard car. Well, maybe just barely enough. What I was going to do is connect these two pigtails together and then for the four wires, connect the three pigtails together to 
cut in the clock without hitting my own factory harness. I could go back to the junkyard and grab another one of these probably, or I could extend the wires. But what I'm thinking is the better idea is since this generic adapter has two ends on it, I'm just going to cut into this one and use the power, those power signals from there. And then there's plenty of length on the factory harness to reach this jack over here.